This is how you go about delineating the territories. I should know I need help because the territory lines many times don't fall within the street center lines and it kind of causes confusion. I want you to be more precise with the territory lines. That's why I need your help. So what I want you to do is first of all, go to territories, click on that. <clears throat> it will load the Spanish territories. Let's get this little panel out of the way. Conway, Conway 2, etc., etc. Let's let's click this arrow right here. It'll disappear. Okay. Let's go toward the territories that I would like for you to do. Uh, let's just use an example. Let's just say Long's number 15. You can see that in Long's number 15 territory, it doesn't fall within the street center lines. It's It'll do but it'll cause confusion and we don't want this. So what I want you to do is I want you to put the lines, the territory boundaries on the street center lines. And the way you do that is like this. On the right hand side, you see this right here, this little gear, press that, press edit. Okay, let's take that out of the way. So now you click somewhere within that territory. Okay. So you see what appears. You see the pick point appearing right here. You take that pick point, you put your cursor on it, and you move it to the desired location. And watch what happens when I drop it. Okay, this right here all of a sudden appeared. Every time you move a pick point, another pick point's going to appear. So let me pick this pick point right here and put it on the street center line. Boom. You see how that one appeared? So I just want you to do this until all the territories show up. Oh, sorry. Back up. <clears throat> Go back to that territory. Once again, it's lungs number 15. Repeat the step once again. And I want you to zoom in so much that maybe this uh, the street center line is going to be about about the size in your screen. Once again, you press the gear, press edit, close that out or collapse it, then touch somewhere within that green space or that territory. The pick points are going to appear and then you can manipulate the pick points accordingly just by touching it. Okay, so that is how you go about doing that. You can pan, okay, you can pan, choose the pick point, move it. Every time you move a pick point, another one will appear. So just go ahead and follow through with that and you should you should adequately move the lines to where they need to be. When you get done, press the little gear. Instead of edit, you press view and you're basically done. Don't worry about saving anything because it'll automatically save and it'll appear on my program. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for paying attention.